Samuel, Greg, where does Nebraska's pipeline camp rank compared to other such camps, i.e. Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa? Well, the different this this is not this is not a Nebraska camp. We'll, we'll just we want to you know make that clear. This is an Adidas pipeline camp. This is sponsored by Adidas. Adidas runs this thing. This is one of Adidas's national camps that they put on. They do a quarterback one. Um, they do a skill position one. Um, and this is it, it's fairly new. They've only done it for a couple of years now. I think this is the third one. Um, but they chose Nebraska, and they called it the Pipeline Camp because of Nebraska's history of, uh, you know, very successful offensive linemen going on to the next level and, and you know, becoming Hall of Famers and, and, and the like. So uh, this is not – you can't even compare this to, uh, uh, you know, a Wisconsin big man camp or, or an Iowa. It, it's just – it's a totally different animal. And this is what attracts kids from all across the country to come in here. Um, and like I said, it's fairly new right now. But, you know, if it keeps going the way that they uh, kind of dream this would be, um, in a couple, two or three more years, this will be the premier camp um, to come to in the country if you are a, a offensive or defensive line prospect. That's their dream of this. So, you know, it's kind of still in the fledgling uh, parts, but – you see, you, I mean, it's funny to see that, that – and you talk to it, – it's it's great because you can interact with the kids' parents and stuff when you're in the stands and, and they're pointing out your kid. You, know, you might not know who they are. Um, uh, yeah, we're from, uh, you know, we're from we're from Texas. Um, you know, we're from, we're from Rhode Island. We're from South Dakota. I mean, it, it's crazy. People come in and, and they're trying to get their kids noticed and, and – um, we'll do anything for some of that exposure. And, you know, you, you get a lot of guys that you kind of look at during these camps and say, like, you know, who invited that kid here? But then you get on the flip side, you're like, holy cow, look at that dude. Um, you know, we got to find out more about this kid. And um, But so it's, it's like I said, it, it will be one of the premier camps and it, destination camps uh, coming up here shortly in a few years if it all keeps uh, going successfully. And unfortunately COVID had a little bit of problem, you know, you know, put a, a snafu in that. Um, otherwise I think it would be a much more known camp right now, but when you got the backing of Adidas that obviously Nebraska is an Adidas school, um, you know, they're going to do everything possible to make it very successful. And um, you know what, it helps to have uh, you know, if you're a kid and you have, it helps to have a, a parent, a mother or father that's really dedicated to, uh, you know, your career, like that, that wants to push you in a career in football or, or help you in your career in football that, that heck, you know, we'll drive down to Lincoln, Nebraska and, and, and compete in this camp in front of all these eyes, because this is a camp where any coach, any college coach in the country is welcome to come and be on the sidelines and, and on the field to watch and to interact and, and to actually help coach kids. So that's the biggest difference about this is that, you know, you'll you'll have you'll have coaches from probably twenty different colleges, maybe maybe five or six different D one colleges at least. Um, so yeah, it, that's that's one of the bigger differences that you know it, it's a national camp and it's not just a, a camp held on somebody's campus.